phones are not going to be the end of the line, but we're not going to be here in the 2030s communicating and using computing devices that are exactly the same as what we have today. And someone has to build that and believe in it. Meta invented a damn time machine. Hi, Nora. Daddy's calling from the future. I'm wearing these amazing AR glasses that you'll probably use when you grow up. Over the next 10 years, the form factor is just going to keep on getting smaller and smaller, and eventually we're going to have what looks like normal-looking glasses. You're looking at the culmination of decades of breakthrough inventions in nearly every field of computing. It's one of the hardest challenges the tech industry's ever attempted. See, Orion is a time machine. It'll let Meta live in the future as they build the next generation of AR experiences. Now let me nerd out for a second, because this is a technological marvel. The display isn't made of glass. It's made of silicone carbide, which delivers an unprecedented 70-degree field of view. That means Meta engineers figured out how to bend light beams in ways it does not like to bend. The frames are made of magnesium, just like an F1 car, because it's light and radiates away heat. I mean, you can't just put a fan in glasses. Orion cools itself by glowing. It uses the same materials NASA uses to cool satellites in space. You have to be absurdly determined to build something like this. But competitiveness runs deep around here. Mark wouldn't even let me beat him at Palm. But then, of course, the full vision is you just have, like, a full field of view, holograms where, you know, we're having this conversation in the future and, like, I'm sitting on your couch next to you as a hologram and we're just there and we have this full sense of presence. Here we are. Oh, yeah. Forgot to mention large holographic displays. The real world is our canvas. Our experiences shouldn't be limited to glowing rectangles. One day soon, we'll once again look up, connected, empowered, and present.